All right, welcome back to resourcing. Um, again, a reminder that this is a series, so I would suggest watching the grounding and orienting videos first, but feel free to, again, watch this as an individual video if you are already aware of the other concepts and just want to be led through a nice little practice to connect with something that can kind of be an alternative, be a different way of noticing your body, noticing your surroundings, noticing your ex a different experience from getting stuck in what we would call a a trauma vortex. So this is this is the counter vortex. This is the the place, this is the happy place that you can go to in your mind or just in, in noticing things around you that really resource you. All right, so um, let's drop back into a sensation of feeling grounded. Oh, allowing your feet to drop into the floor, allowing your arms to rest. Feel free to keep eyes open or closed, whatever makes sense for you. And as we drop in, just noticing for right here, right now, would you like to travel inwards to a memory of somewhere really beautiful, somewhere really safe? Maybe imagining a place or person or animal or season or some natural phenomenon. And if you're noticing, oh, actually, I kind of want to remain present and not turn so inward. I want to remain present to the space I'm in right now. Then let's find something really supportive in the room. So right now I can see my cat from where I am. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could go right and sit by her and put my hands on her little furry body. So figure out if you want to use something in your room. Maybe it's like holding a cup of water, holding a candle, holding a plant, holding a cap. <laughs> um, pick something that's going to work for you, internal versus external resources. And we'll just stay with it for a bit. So whether you are imagining in your mind or you are engaging your senses in the present, I would invite you to notice colors. And as you notice those colors, see if there's any kind of response in your body. What do your fingers want to do? What do your toes want to do? Is there any area of your body that would like to rest or to soften just a little bit? And as you stay with your resource, what textures do you notice? And then how does your body respond? Is there any kind of playful or curious sensation with that texture? wonder what that would feel like against my toes. 
I wonder what that would feel like against my fingers. As you stay with that resource, how do you notice the upper part of your chest responding? Just noticing where there might be restriction, noticing where there might be expansion. any kind of fluid or moving or wave-like experience. And noticing if supportive touch might be also helpful as you notice this part of your body. And if it becomes too much, as always, well, let's get out of there. Let's go back to that resource. Mm, noticing colors, textures, shapes. So only taking things at your pace, what your body feels available for. Oh. So I'm inviting my hands to just kind of drop down onto my belly right now as I stay with my resource. I'm just noticing the movement of my rib cage. As I notice that resource. Again, whether this is something you're imagining or experiencing right now, what can you learn from that resource? If that resource could tell you, oh, this is how to be, this is how your body could feel. What would that be? Hmm, are there any sounds associated that are pleasing? As you envision those, what do your legs want to do? What do your arms want to do? You notice your jaw and your ears and imagining that delicious sound that is trickling into your ears and into your jaw, into your forehead. Are there any pleasant smells associated? How does that also make your face respond? Can there be any dropping of your cheeks? Any opening of your airways and your nose and your throat? And then notice how is your body feeling different right now? Uh, just do a little bit of a body scan as we come back into the room. So noticing any sensations in the feet, in the ankles, and still hold on to your resource right now as you're noticing and coming back into the room. Noticing calves and knees, noticing hips and low back. Notice 
noticing if any movement wants to arise. Noticing your arms, your shoulders. Mm. Noticing your neck and your head, your eyeballs. Would it feel good to kind of stretch your eyes, look around the room? Mm. Noticing the space that you're in kind of the front of your body, the back of your body, reorienting to where you are. And if you aren't already using a resource in your space, maybe finding something pleasant that's grabbing your attention right now. And taking your time with that before you come back to the screen. Hmm. All right, well, thank you all for trying out these videos. And please let me know if at any point in time you want to have it be a personalized experience. Um, this is the kind of work that I'm doing with folks. Um, currently virtually, I may start to incorporate more in person this year, incorporate touch again while we're, we're doing these noticings, um, learning to be with sensation, um, learning to find alternatives, um, and you know, at some point kind of maybe even moving towards, um, pleasure, joy, um, but you know that it's going to come in, in stages, right? So learning to be with our bodies, um, how they are, where they are, noticing those sensations. It's, it's a process. So wishing you softness if you explore, continue to explore these things, whether it's via these videos or with me or another practitioner. Um, yeah, and please reach out if you'd, if you'd like to work together. All right, take care.